Hey guys, Nerd King 101 here, and today we're going to be talking about an actual serious topic. Of course, if you're involved in the anime community, you probably have some idea of what I'm going to talk about due to the news that broke today. But, of course, I am talking about the news regarding the creator of Baroni Kenshin, Nobuhiro Wasaki. Now, of course, we all know that Nobuhiro Wasaki was charged with production of child pornography back in November on the 21st. This was, of course, covered by Anime News Network. Of course, for his punishment, he was charged the yen equivalent of $2,000, something that is, of course, a major problem that I will get into more later in the video. A link to all the articles will be in the description box down below. And, of course, his actions were inexcusable. Most of the DVDs he had contained footage of underage girls, so there was obviously sexual abuse towards minors involved. I believe some of the girls were even under the consent age of Japan. So that is a major problem. And of course, there isn't much more for me to say on the matter besides these are the actions of a garbage human being. Like, there is no more for me to add onto the actions of his story. He's a horrible human being who took possession of child pornography. There are no arguments to him being a bad person, and I honestly think he should be in prison, and that's what I would like to get on to the point of this video. It was of course confirmed today that Roroni Kenshin would be returning to publication in June. Jonin Jump is completely behind this man. And I understand what they're doing from a business viewpoint. Moroni Kenshin is unbelievably popular, and it should, in theory, make a lot of money. But of course, statistics would tell you that. However, what I am hoping happen is a Dirty Moroni Kenshin boycott. I'm not sure about the viewpoint of the Japanese citizens on this matter i don't know all i know is what i'm seeing from the western fan base on twitter but what i'm hoping happens is that there is some sort of baroni kenshin boycott and everybody refuses to support it so jonah jump will kill it i have seen the idea that someone else could continue the story and i'm actually not against that i have no issue with baroni kenshin continuing what i have an issue with is the money of fans going to him, going to Wasaki, who will probably go out and spend that money buying more child pornography. Let's be honest, that's probably what he's going to do. He'll probably just try to hide it better. Yes, he probably is on some sort of list now, God, I would hope he is, but there is no denying that's probably what he's going to do anyway. He's just going to be more careful about it. Some of the more hardcore fans of Baroni Kenshin have gone on to pseudo defend him, saying it doesn't really matter because they still enjoy Roroni Kenshin. And while I'm not saying you can't enjoy Roroni Kenshin, giving your money to a pedophile is wrong. Like, you shouldn't do it. It's not okay. Like, I, I understand this mindset of. I like the manga, so it's okay for me to give my money to a pedophile. I don't understand the mindset, and I honestly don't think it makes any logical sense. If you know pedophilia is wrong, which I'm assuming most of the people do, then there shouldn't be any debate that you don't want to give the creator more money so we can go out and buy more child pornography. I believe Tenley, that the girlfriend of Mother Basement and professional cosplayer, said it best. The children under 15 who were sexually abused in the DVD he has staff in his office and home give a shit. But you know, your precious manga. I think what's most concerning to me about all of this is that Wasaki isn't in prison. Because as I stated earlier, he only suffered a $2,000 fine for possession of child pornography. I think this is appalling. I think it's a major issue and, they, and the country needs to fix it. I don't think any adult man or woman should be able to essentially get away scot-free 
after being caught in possession of child pornography? I honestly think Roroni Kenshin at this point, I'm hoping the manga tanks, to, to be completely frank with you. If it's going to be him writing it, I'm really hoping there's a boycott and the whole thing just tanks and nobody buys it ever again. I can't even watch it. For a long time, Roroni Kenshin was on my, my watch list. It was one of the anime and manga I wanted to watch. And now, to be completely honest with you, I wouldn't want to watch it officially at least. If I ever watch Roroni Kenshin, I'm using Hug Animu. I'm going to be quite frank with you. I normally wouldn't come out and talk about the sites I will use that aren't legal. I, because I don't want to publicly condone piracy. But honestly, I don't want to give this man any money. So if you really want to rock Roroni Kenshin, this is the time to pirate something. I'm going to say that now. This is the right time. I think there are really two occasions where I think pirating is okay. If, if whatever it is is not available in your part of the world, fine. If you live in a country where you can't legally get a show, pirate it, I get you. Or if it's something like Neon Genesis Evangelion, and it's been stuck in licensing hell for like a decade, then yeah, go ahead. We're certainly not getting an official release of the original TV series anytime soon. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no other option. Go ahead, pirate it, and of course, if you're underage, have no job, and don't want to ask your parents to pay their hard-earned money so you can watch a ton of anime. Because let's be honest, it's becoming more and more expensive to be an anime fan. There's Crunchyroll, there's Funimation, there's Hulu, there's Netflix. The shows are becoming more spread out through all these different services. And it ends up being a lot of money to spend on something your parent personally won't ever use, that only one person in the household will use, and it kind of becomes pointless. So I kind of get one you would pirate in that case. But besides those three things, this is the only situation where I would condone pirating, where I would straight up say and recommend hug animal to you. Because at least you're not supporting a pedophile. Honestly, I'm not even mad at Wasaki in this. I'm mad at him for the child pornography, but I'm honestly not mad at him for coming back to work. I'm more mad at Shonen Jump, because if you don't know, they've done this before with the creator of Toriko. In fact, I believe the creator of Toriko went to prison after his sexual offense issues. But then they welcomed him back with open arms. But... You also need to realize Toriko at the time, I believe, was getting pushed as one of the big three as the new Bleach, the new Naruto. So I kind of understand why they did that. Roni Kenshin, I don't understand because it is not currently a staple of the magazine. They honestly don't need Roni Kenshin. My Hero doing well, One Piece is doing well. They're making enough money with the franchise. They no longer need Kenshin. It's not like this is way back in the 90s when Roroni Kenshin was in Weekly Shonen Jump and it was competing with Dragon Ball and Slam Dunk. No, that's not the situation here. This is an old manga having a run. It's the same thing as Dragon Ball Super. It's an old manga returning to make some money. And because the creator wants to do it, but honestly, Wataki doesn't have the right to make more manga. He's a child of... He's a pedophile. He doesn't have the right to make more manga. And this entire thing is unbelievably upsetting. And I'm going to be quite frank with you. The fact that he isn't in prison is bullshit. The guy should be in prison. And he most certainly shouldn't be writing manga. And he most certainly won't be getting my money. I will never buy any Roroni Kenshin merchandise. I will never buy the manga and check it out. I will never buy the Blu-rays. I will never check out Roroni Kenshin. I have no interest in reading his work at this point, because at this point, I'm disgusted by not just the actions of him, by the actions of Shonen Jump. I am massively disappointed, 
and this can't keep happening. I am really hoping the Japanese fans say something about this. I'm hoping there's major backlash. Because it is the second time that it's happened, as I mentioned, the, the very similar thing happened with the Tori Crow creator, which you can look into yourself, because I don't want to get into that. But this whole thing is massively upsetting, and it's disappointing because my hero Roni Kenshin is a good manga, and I was really hoping the fans would get their Roni Kenshin continuation, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So guys, what are your thoughts on all this nonsense? Do you think Roni Kenshin should continue in Jump? Do you think it should continue under a different author? Do you think everything would have been better if Roni Kenshin just died and Wasaki went to jail? I don't know. I'm hoping Roni Kenshin tanks and Jump cancels it, and this guy never writes another manga for them again. Unless they let him start a new one. With God, why would you do that, Jump? But who knows? Jump works with that. Jump had worked with pedophiles in the past, so who knows? The whole thing's massively upsetting, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to talk about this. I know it was kind of a pseudo rant. It turned into one, but this is very frustrating to me. I don't like seeing things like this. It's a serious problem, and I hope it gets fixed in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this style of video, leave it a like and tell me in the comments, and maybe I'll do more of it. Have a look, guys. Have a great day. This is Nerd King 101, signing out.